Hey guys, it's Kay, welcome back to the latest streaming news and today we've got a lot to cover from new releases and hidden gems to tech updates and industry trends. Whether you're looking for something new to watch or curious about the latest in streaming technology, I've got you covered. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks, so subscribe and hit the notification button. Ok, first up it's Disney and Warner Bros and it looks like Discovery have collaborated to launch a new streaming bundle featuring Disney+, Plus, Hulu and Max. The ad supported option is priced at $16.99 per month, offering a $9 saving compared to subscribing to each service individually. The ad free option costs $29.99 per month, providing a saving of approximately $18. Additionally, the ad free plan includes the ability to download content for offline viewing, a feature not available with the ad supported plan. Both plans don't offer any discounts for annual payments. Next up, it looks like Amazon and NBA have secured an agreement to stream 66 regular NBA games annually on Prime Video. So this arrangement commences with the 2025-26 NBA season and extends for 11 years. In addition to the regular season games, the package will feature a new Black Friday NBA game, all Emirates NBA Cup games, all postseason SoFi, NBA playing tournament games, select first and second round playoff games, select conference final games and some NBA final games. The deal also includes WNBA coverage with 30 regular season games per year, postseason games and three WNBA finals over the 11 year period. So Amazon have announced an update to its Prime Video app, which now makes it easier to view only movies and TV shows included with your Prime membership and other subscriptions. The main navigation menu has been moved from the left side of the screen to the top. In addition to the usual tabs like movies and TV shows, the new navigation menu now includes tabs dedicated to each of your subscriptions, including Prime Video. So the new navigation menu with dedicated tabs for each subscription simplifies accessing the content available with a particular subscription. Along with the Prime tab, each of your Prime Video channel subscriptions will have its own tab. Other updates in the app include Made For You rows in the Movies and TV Shows tabs, which uses generative AI to recommend titles. The redesigned Prime Video app is currently rolling out and it will be eventually available on Fire TV devices as a system component update, though it has not yet arrived. Other non-Amazon devices are also expected to receive the updated Prime Video app and interface. Rumours have circulated for over a year about a new streaming device from Google set to replace the 2020 Chromecast 4K. So leaked images shared with 95 Google suggest that this upcoming device will be a traditional set-top box, not a pendant like the current Chromecast, and will be likely named the Google TV Streamer. The device features a pill-shaped footprint and a slanted top, reminiscent of the Pixel tablet's angle dock, and the absence of a fabric or speaker holes indicated it will likely not have built-in speakers for hands-free use, similar to the ONN 4K Pro. The remote control is particularly noteworthy. It's a longer version of the current Chromecast remote, featuring an additional row of buttons. This new layout moves the volume buttons from the side to the front, swaps the home and mic buttons, and replaces the Google Assistant branding with a simple microphone icon. The YouTube and Netflix buttons remain, and a customizable star button now occupies the bottom right corner, replacing the input button. So this design also allows for better heat management, potentially indicating more powerful hardware in the Google TV streamer. Ok, so the number of devices running Amazon's own Vegas OS system has now increased to 3. The recently released Echo Spot has had its source code notices published, revealing that it's unlike most previous Echo models as it runs a Linus-based Vegas OS instead of Android. Now, Amazon has predominantly used its Android-based Fire OS for over a decade, and plans to replace the Fire OS with the secretive Vega OS were first disclosed by Lopas late last year. And shortly after, it was revealed that Vegas OS was already in use on the latest Echo Show 5, and the new operating system appears to be performing well, as it also powers the Echo Hub and now the Echo Spot. And rumours suggest that Amazon plans to use Vegas OS on the Fire TV devices as well. But a Fire TV running Vegas OS would also require thousands of third-party apps to be ported to the new OS, a task unlikely to be fully achieved. 